Well, today's heavy rain brought localized flash flooding to some areas. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Matko and I'm Marilyn McAuliffe. 13 News reporter Lane Ball spoke with people in one hard hit area. He joins us now with more. As the storms rolled into Lincoln County Tuesday afternoon, residents watched as the water rose quickly. All of a sudden you could just watch the creek. It was just coming up just I don't know. It's like a dam busted open. While some neighbors dealt with it in their backyards, drivers faced these rising waters head on. Near the Duval Elementary and Middle School, water covered the road, making it impassable for most drivers. I spoke with locals, and they say in this area, flooding is not uncommon. Some even say when the rain comes down, they prep for it. You just ride around looking at the water to see what's going on, where you can get through and where you can't. So that's what we do. Lincoln County for you. Now, officials say there were some injuries caused by this severe weather. One woman was actually struck by lightning here along Laurel Fork. She was taken to a hospital where she was being treated. Her condition is still unknown at this time. While no further injuries were reported, emergency crews were also dealing with the effects of this weather. Officials say at the EMS Station 20 along Midway Road in Yawkey, water was going into the building. One ambulance was in the station at the time, but other than the water on the floor, there were no other damages. The water receded before sunset. However, area residents and officials are still warning drivers if they come across water over the roadway. Stay out of the water. <laughs> Honestly, you're prone to flo uh, float away down here. They think, oh, I can make it through. They don't make it through. Reporting in Lincoln County, Lane Ball, 13 News.